you have to figure out how are you going to get there and be disciplined around that. But it is not a glamorous job. It is a work. It is a art. It is a, it is a craft. You just got to know that don't stop because if you do, you don't know if that was yeah. how far away you were. The more you work with like-minded individuals, the better relationships you have the more fun your job is. And I think the more rapidly you can grow the company too. So I am involved in a nonprofit called this is Jane project. And we try to help people get cannabis who are trauma survivors and it's through a compassionate program. The first time I saw Cathonic, I had heard of them through Barnes, but I had never seen them or heard the band before. And my mind was blown. It opens the possibility of what is it going to take to get into a relationship with these people, which requires listening and humor and empathy and vulnerability and all of the traits that make us human. We do not control the day of our birth. Most of us will never not control the day of our death. But what we do control is the dash, mm. the line that separates the two. So be mindful of the dash. We have to remember that our actions kind of speak as loud as our words do, and we have to walk our talk. I think that that's just a guiding principle for me all the time. Get your, outside of your comfort zone. Do something that you would never think that you would do because it'll give you the uh, ability to really look at yourself and be proud of what you can accomplish. You have to be cognizant of both the creators that you're aligning yourself with because they could have some content in the past that is a little bit nail bitey. If you see an elderly person, ask them how you can help them. If, if you see a mother and a child walking alone or need something inside the store, ask how can you help them. If we could intervene with pelvic health education and screening ahead of time to have an element of prevention, it, it really could truly transform mental health and physical health. I believe that you should just explore and just give your curiosity wings and just fly and just find out what, what you like it. It's hard to be a human being. It, it, <laughs> it takes work. It takes maintenance. <laughs> no matter if it's show business or anything else, it, unless you're born with a silver spoon in your mouth, there's going to be some work involved. <laughs> I just like to see all my guys make it, seeing guys' names mm -hmm. get called on draft night seeing their dreams come to fruition of all the hard work. Your future can look very drastically different in a year. If you start something today, 12 months from today, your life can look and feel and you can think and believe different. Be supportive, give people encouraging words, you know, words of kindness, words of support. They definitely do help people. You, you never know when someone is at their lowest or their weakest point. I've always been that type of kid just to talk, 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 and not stop talking. So when I found out you could get paid to talk, you had me hooked. Someone <laughs> at school told me that you could make money by talking. And I was like, get me on that train. The ankle bone is connected to the knee bone that's connected to the hip bone. If you want to fix one of these bones, you're going to have a different lopsided body if you don't fix all of it. And immigration reform has been necessary for so many years. If you think about To Kill a Mockingbird, here's a lawyer who just lost the biggest case of his career. He's walking out of court and the people in the balcony who weren't allowed to sit in the lower level because they were black, felt that the job he did was so courageous that he deserved essentially the equivalent of a standing ovation. Hmm. I can't think of another movie or another book that holds lawyers in, with that kind of reverence. That book and that movie solidified my wanting to become a lawyer. My philosophy is that you don't need a hundred thousand people to like you. You just need a hundred people to pay you. Mm. So I am masterful at SEO now. It's all about the content. It's all yeah. about the product that you're putting out, because if you're doing good work, regardless of where the product sits online, TV, cable, you name it. If the product is good, it will resonate. Love yourself enough to go for it because you never know if it's going to work out, if you never try, like you have to take the chance and you have to be willing to take the risk. A large 
UFO appeared on radar and the commander on duty said, we got to chase this thing. We got to follow it. And one sweep of the radar, it went from being on the East coast to being out over the Atlantic. So in about the space of two seconds and boom, it was out of there. It always started with how we think and how we see money and how we can establish our relationship with money. Society tells you that, you know what, money is your enemy, but it doesn't have mm. to be like that. I play one of the main aliens and I was also a stunt double for another guy. I did a lot of the behind the camera work, helping the fight choreography. And I also did a lot of the stunt rigging where if you're going to throw me through a window, you got to put a wire on my back, <laughs> put a pull this system somewhere and someone hits a button to fly you. We need to be represented in the media space, but I'm liking the podcasts that I'm hearing particularly. So that gives me hope that we're moving forward to a more inclusive media going forward. Of course, I didn't want to get arrested. So I went across the street, but I'll tell you, that was the most pathetic show of the police force. I mean, what would happen if there was some dire emergency, someone needed a policeman? And you've got five patrol cars with two officers. I'm a woman in the signage industry. And if you don't like it, you're not paying my bills. Not that I don't honor your opinion, but I honor my own self to make sure that I do what I need to do so that I could feed my family and the things that I love to do in and around me. They can't offer any suggestions to improve <laughs> life for others. So they have to pick on people they think that are weaker than them. And I think we're finding out that we aren't so weak, you know, <laughs> that, yeah, that, yeah. There, that uh, there's some power in the pumps. So watch what you say. In places like Rwanda, we've seen this genocide in 93 with the Kigali mm -hmm. Air Force. They owned the radio station. And those that owned the radio station were able to socially engineer the public by spreading deliberate propaganda and disinformation just to cause conflict between the tribes living in Rwanda. After giving them the information on the radio, he also armed them with a machete so that they could kill their brothers. They're running cults. They're trying to get the public trust. We've been harassed by his cult followers because they believed hook, line, and sinker that I'm a child abuser. I'm a domestic terrorist. I'm a wanted criminal. I've never been any of those things. I tell people, you have a right to defend yourself. You have a right to speak the truth. You have value. You have worth. And that's one of the things that cults do to people is they chip away. Communication is the way you talk to your family. Communication is the way that you order food at a restaurant. Communication is the way that you meet strangers when we travel. When we realize that communication is every moment of our life, that's how we get better. The Russians are dying off as a people. If it goes on long enough, it'll get to the point where the Russians may have no choice but to just deal so they can pull in their horns. Now, Here's the long-term problem. This is probably why we haven't pulled all of our assets out of Eastern Europe. You have to find a support system. Where do you look it. for it? You could be in a small town and not be able to find physical in-person support. But the internet, if you go to different places, if you find organizations that can point you to different chapters in different places around the country or around the world even, you can find meetup groups that you can find like-minded individuals.